Hey guys, it is Brooke with The Junk Parlor and I am gonna show you what I have recently picked. So this is part two of another video where I showed you what I got. I had a day where I went and I picked to two different places and this is the place that I went to first. So I will show you all the goodies. We have a lot of small items on this one. If you like what you are seeing, make sure to subscribe and click the like button. Leave me a comment and let me know that you like what you are so, seeing. Let's get started. I'm just gonna go through this stuff super quick. Now, these look like feet, cast iron feet off of something. Um, and there's a few little random metal pieces in here as well. And I think that they are probably all go together, but I thought you could easily put a screw in there and add this to any drawer, crate, box, and have some instant, um, artwork or legs, not artwork, legs for your crates, um, and get them to rise up off the ground make a little side table or something, but you could use it for artwork as well because they have these stands, they would just stand up fine um, also. So those cast iron pieces are pretty neat. And then this is like a puzzle. <laughs> it is these two pieces, there's chain in between, but other than that, I'm really not sure what it is. Maybe you would have put a plant in it, um, I don't know really what it would have done. So you can see this I got untwisted. This side would be the same. So it's whatever you want to turn it into, whatever you want to make it. I did get a couple cute little decorative um, water cans here. And these, this one looks a little bit newer, but if it doesn't sell as is, I can always spray paint it and have uh, completely changed the look of it. Then we have this wooden cigar box. Um, any little box I love. This one you can just faintly kind of see some of that old advertising and that hinge is broken um, so needs to get a little bit of oil on that but these are great stacked. That is a great size on the back of your toilet if you want to do a little display there. And then we have this copper um, coffee canister. These are great. Copper super popular and having an awesome coffee station is super popular right now as well. So great for those. Then we have this copper double boiler. Um, this one does not have a lid and I actually have a girl who is looking for those. So I got one on my other pick that you maybe watched earlier and that one did have a lid. So I'm just gonna see which one she wants. I don't think she needs one with a lid. And then we got this Charlie Cookies tin. Those things are always good to put in your kitchen. And then I have a dealer friend. <clears throat> There's only one right here, but she also sells uh, flowers. And so she likes to get some cheap uh, pictures off of me and fill them with her uh, silks and then sell them. So that is why I picked up some aluminum uh, pitchers to offer up to her. I got this little teeny funnel, super cute. These are great for um, hanging on the wall and putting a plant in, but also for those funnel trees that people love for Christmas. So here is another funnel. This one has the long spout on it, but you can cut that off and then you can have, um, make your little trees out of one this size. It's just a good size when you take that uh, spout off of it. You can also hook these and chain these. I've mentioned this before and put a plant in it on your porch and you could leave this um, on for something like that or you could choose to take that off as well. It really doesn't matter. Then we've got our Aunt Jemima and I'm pretty sure it'll still pop back together. You can see that it is super dirty. There's fuzz everywhere. Um, but this was a nice treasure. It was literally in a box <coughs> with um, a whole collection of teddy bears. Like the guy had literally bought a lady um, her contents that it was probably 
10 plus boxes of just like little bear figurines. Okay, then I have a couple of customers who love butter paddles. So I grabbed some of those. You can never go wrong with a scoop. These are kind of rusty crusty, but they have great red handles. And all you have to do is just spray with a clear coat. And then these are completely functional. So don't let a little bit of surface rust scare you. We've got our enamel ladle. These are always popular. And then this one's just funny because someone handmade their own little paddle. But I thought it was cute. And I'm sure someone would love to hang that in their kitchen uh, for a little display. We've got a couple other scoops, just different styles. And then biscuit cutters always seem to be popular. Um, normally they do not have the center piece in them. And like this one, you can kind of see there's normally a ring on the inside. Wooden handled ones are very popular, especially paint um, ones with painted colors on them. And then I also got some nutmeg graters. These are great because they can hang on the wall. You can stick little florals in them if you want to, but those are pretty popular. This piece, I really don't know if it's old or new or what it is. Um, and actually there is a clip someone has added to the back. So you could probably do a little um, advertising card on this little aluminum can, uh, cow. And then we have this honey stir stick. So always a nice little addition. Anything wood is always, is always gonna be popular. The larger things in this tote. So this is just, um, well, I guess I don't know for sure, but this is probably to hold brooms or mop, um, mops. They would go into the metal and then um, be held. These types of things are also used for stamp holders. So you have the tiered uh, stamp holder stands um, and that's what they're used for as well. So this is probably for more utility tools and things like that. This has a metal base. Um, I'm not sure if it is original or if someone married these two together. This could be something to spin around for yarn. It could be a hose. Um, I'm really not sure, but I just liked it. I like it on there and then I like it off as well. So you could set it off and put a candlestick in it. You could just have it out. Um, as well and then this could always get repurposed and hold a flag or paper towel holder um, not sure if I will leave them together or not and then I always need a long handled bottle brush cleaner so I thought this one was pretty good and it's a pretty good size for those little bottlenecks so that is probably going to be more um, functional and for cleaning and brass is super hot right now with everybody kind of going modern farmhouse and boho um, so this little brass with the deer container, I grabbed him. I just sold a whole bunch of door pins and I got a whole bunch of these hinges, but they're super decorative. So even if you didn't put them together to try and have them be hinges, you could just screw them onto a drawer, a door, just as a piece of um, decorative, add some decorative element to it. If I can marry the, the pins that I have with that, you can also set those up kind of um, opposite. So they, they kind of set at a 90 degree angle and then you can magnet things to it. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be. If this is a toilet and someone has put a piece of glass here, um, it I'm not really sure. So it says fragile and it says Sedalia, Missouri, and that's about all I can tell. You do have your hinges here so you could hang it and the back is just a hole. Um, but I just thought this was super unique. It'd be fun to hang on a bathroom wall. And then I have a girl who collects um, bits. So these are rusty crusty, but again, you can spray them with a clear coat. I can't ever remember what style she likes. So I just grabbed a few um, 
for an assortment, but these, since they're all different, would look great hanging on a wall for a display. I would probably hang them horizontally. You could also mount these to um, a board and then use it to hang your dish towel or bathroom towel, hand towel to dry your hands off on. So that is fun. Um, anything that's wheel or pulley like, I'm always grabbing. Um, this piece looks dangerous, like you could punch somebody, but it would also look neat hanging on the wall. So adding some clear coat to it totally will change the look. And I do have videos on that. So make sure you check out my video series as well. Um, just showing you before and afters of some metal items. So this brush, you can take your flashcards and stand it up in there, postcards, old advertising. So even though that looks kind of a little bit newer, it's still a great way to display. Cutting boards are always super hot. This one already has a hole on it, in it so you can hang it on the wall. These are great too. Um, you can set them on a trunk if you don't have like a flat surface. You know how trunks a lot of times are going to have those grooves. You can put this on there and then um, display from that. So that's always handy. And then I'm a green girl. I love green anything. So I grabbed these two green bottles. I need to kind of look up what this is. It almost looks like it says grolish. So I don't know if that was olive oil, if that was some kind of beer. These do have caps on them, but cleaned up, those are going to be really pretty, especially if you set them in a window with some sunshine going through them. And same thing with this green juice and water um, bottle. And then I've got a girl who's looking for some birdhouses. And so I grabbed these. This one's very unique. It's got, that's a knot in the board that they're using for the house. Um, but you can spray paint these, just dress them, totally change their look or leave them as is. Um, but I'm always on the hunt for my customers. Then I did grab little scissors. Anytime I see little scissors, I'm always grabbing those. Um, I try and wait until I have like a little bundle, maybe like five of them, um, because then you can sell those bundles together and people like to put those out for display. I love original um, paintings. This one is nice and bright here, thinking about spring. Letters are normally very popular. So we've got this red A. It's not so crazy big that you can't ship it um, or that shipping would be outrageous, but it's a great color. Your first name, last name starts with an A. That's going to be something I think that sells quick. Always grabbing the pitchforks. These look great hanging on your wall. You can have them on a table and then do a little arrangement on top of them. Stab them into your plant pots. Um, so... I love, I love pitchforks and the little tool. We've got this little enamel measuring cup. We've got this dirty, crusty, that looks like a, um, what do you call the things that a butterfly goes in? A cocoon. Um, so this one is a nice watering can. Somebody has painted, but I like it. It's already distressed and it has a nice sprinkler head to it. And I got quite a few little enamel things. So this little teapot, we've got this little cup. Um, one of the guys that I pick off a lot, he has gotten a lot of enamel. It's a little more expensive than I normally get, but super cute pieces. So I went ahead and splurged and spent a little bit more money than I typically would do. And then these plates I thought were just neat. They're kind of, I don't even know what they are. They're not aluminum, they're thicker than that but they have this beautiful color on them. The blue one has the pattern. And so I thought those would be fun to use as a cloche base, or you could um, hang them on the wall. They're probably magnetic. And then a couple little red irons. These are super cute. Um, this one has the cord on it. It doesn't have the plug. I will probably just cut that cord off because most people are going to set it on their shelf anyway. You could put that in your laundry room, mud room, 
or wherever you do your ironing. We got these little medicine bottles. I've got um, a customer that loves the little vintage medicine bottles. And then even though there are purple plastic wheels on this, super cute little pink metal um, car. So I grabbed that. Here's another one of those pictures. This one's in a little bit better condition. Um, but it is also uh, in aluminum one. I was just kind of double checking that it wasn't pewter because pewter is a little bit more expensive and very popular as well. So more with some copper, we've got these little salt and pepper shakers. And this is actually, see how nasty? Yeah, mate. Um, this is actually a gutter guard. It would go there where your downspout is to keep the leaves out, but these are great. You can just set them out, kind of use it as a little mini cloche. Um, it definitely is going to be adding some texture to the things that you have underneath it. Then more little enamel measuring cups. I got a 27 uh, cow tag. So I was super excited about that. And then I got a ton of calf pickers. These are great because you can hang them um, on the wall and uh, put a towel on it um, for a hand towel, or you can um, hang a wreath from it and just fun to hang on your wall because not everybody knows what they are. Definitely a conversation starter. Okay, then I did get a couple of bigger things. Um, this wall shelf i would say you're supposed to hang a towel or something on it but it also has some display area so probably something more decorative not really something you are going to put in your bathroom but you can also turn it up this way um, and you could do a display down here as well so um, just a versatile little shelf piece this cabinet and the coloring is terrible, but paint can fix anything. I liked it just for the functionality of it. Um, it looks like somebody, and that is coming off a little bit, it looks like somebody added this pegboard so that they could probably um, take it with them to a show with jewelry um, or put little S hooks in it so that they could hang things and then you just close the door, you put it in your truck or trailer and good to go. This wooden box and it seems like it's been sealed already although the bottom hasn't been but again great for kind of corralling stuff. Another cute little box. This one's very unique with these little miniature um, holes so you could display something cute. Someone's already put a little um, shelf hanger on it. And we've got a few spindles and some old clothes pins in here. These are always great um, spindles for projects or just throw them into a vase. These you can put into a clear jar and put those in your laundry room. I've also seen an awesome wreath made out of clothes pins on my to-do list if that can ever actually happen. Okay, we are maybe halfway through all of the treasures. So this enamel splatter bucket pour, it's so unique. So it has that pour spout and then inside of it, which I'm not necessarily sure they go together, is this um, colander, but I love that piece. Okay, fragile things are always a little bit scary to deal with, um, but this one does not look like it has any chips or cracks. And this does not have the lid, but I still thought it was beautiful. It would look great with a plant in it set out, especially during the spring with those um, beautiful spring colors. And then I love these little candlestick holders. You could also set a small ball on there. So maybe like a pool ball, or if you have some eggs that you want to display, Old advertising is always popular. And then I know I've talked about the mystery junk boxes before, um, but I have a girl who is collecting some of this Roseville. Actually, this one is a hole, but I think I got a Roseville um, piece in here. And basically, if you get a mystery junk box, you fill out a junk style survey, and that's telling me what you want me to be on the hunt for. 
and then I go and find it and I put that in your mystery junk box. And so Roseville pottery is one of the things that she is on the hunt for. So bowls, I love clocks. This one is a plastic like Bakelite, um, but it's not chipped or anything. The person had another one, but it did have quite a bit of damage. There's like a, a, a fine line of um, the damage is okay and acceptable and it still looks cool. And then there is the point where it's like, that's so much damage, it's not acceptable anymore. <laughs> And so it's always a fine line. Uh, my dad um, pretty much asks me about everything, whoops, because he has decided that he, his judgment is no good. So these are neat little advertising um, cards, got information on the back, because pretty much he will say that I'll want some, think that I'll want something, and then I'm like, yeah, no, I don't want that, and then something that he, has planned on throwing away and then I want it. So um, he's decided he doesn't know anything and he just needs to uh, ask me. So Chippy Green, love this little um, plow. That would be cute on a uh, shelf. This has a little bit of damage, but this is like glitter in the inside. No, it's not. Matches? I think it's matches. This little book, these are, um, this is like a miniature of a really old book that I actually have had. I do have a couple girls that like dice and thimbles, so I just grab those and um, put them into a pile. These little aluminum silverware are cute. Not really sure why I picked that Wyoming spoon, but it's in there. We've got some medical clamps, which basically look like little scissors. And so I like to put those in a bundle. And then I'm always on the hunt for these uh, milk bottle caps. This is probably new, but I loved the shape of it. I definitely think that it screams like boho and um, modern farmhouse. We've got this little child size, play size poach pan, which I thought was cute and a teeny, teeny, tiny little grater. How cute. With fairy gardens being super popular, I definitely pick up little things. And this is actually an elephant on that stamp, even though it's really dirty and kind of hard to see. And then I love this wooden bowl as well. Great color. We've got this uh, powder tin. I've been selling some old checks and here are some more. They are just super neat. I'm in Iowa, so Iowa things are normally gonna sell well, and I've sold a ton of blocks lately, so I need to be um, replenishing my block um, stock. And I've grabbed tons of lids. So Santa, I don't know what kind of bottle he would've gone with, but I love it. Little oil cans, I've got some good buyers on those. A little teapot, again, you can stick stuff in another bottle stopper. I grabbed a ton of bottle stoppers. All very different and unique shapes. Then we've got um, a sock darner. Got drew a blank on what that was. And then I'm not sure if this is old or new, but we have a couple of lakes around here and um, cabins. And so people are always looking for that type of stuff for their cabins. And little bisque dolls. Uh, one of my mystery junk box girls likes bisque dolls. And he is super cute. He looks like he was probably in the military. Um, I scored some uh, Monopoly game pieces. So here are a couple of them on that cute little tray. And look at that little cookie cutter. They must have made toy cookie cutters because that is cute. Um, I've got another girl looking for some royal blue bottles. This is also a stopper and I thought it was gorgeous. And then I grabbed a lot of salt and pepper shakers. So sometimes what I grab, it just depends on what is there. So typically I would never grab salt and pepper shakers, but there was a whole little clear glass um, clear cut glass collection 
And so I grab those because I think things in multiples always look really cute. Little white pictures always do well. And then we've got more toy pieces. And these are silver. And there's little plates. And the rest, some more Monopoly things here. And then um, last spring, I did chocolate bunnies. So I took little um, ceramic or porcelain bunnies like this and spray painted them with brown uh, spray paint. They look like chocolate bunnies. You can also do it with like a duck and do um, the shiny gold metallic. So since I happened to see a couple of rabbits, I grabbed those. And Ironstone is always popular. This one is not stamped Ironstone, but it definitely has the look. And if you can get um, tiered pieces, platters so that they can all nest together, that's always a good sell. This is a nice and dirty milk glass vase, but right now I probably have like six and they're all a little bit different and they look really good together. So a while ago on another pick, I got a bunch of these violin shaped bottles um, and they were actually vanilla bottles. Now, there weren't green ones when I researched the vanilla and that's a Bakelite um, stopper on there. So I'm gonna be interested to see what came in these violin bottles because they're all completely different from those ones that had vanilla in them. Here maybe is my Roseville piece, yes. There is a little bit of chip, but that does not bother me. And hopefully not my other girl. I think this is possibly jadeite. I did not have a, back a black light, um, but it has the color. I love anything green, whether it is officially um, jadeite or not. I grabbed a couple more little bunnies here. This little bird I thought was super cute. It has a slit in the back, so you can probably put a picture or a postcard. Got some little um, amber bottles, a little assortment. Those would look cute together. And yes, I did get another set of dentures. So um, dentures are fun to stick in things for Halloween. Um, some people like that stuff year round. And so doesn't scare me. This would look great, this bird and this bird with that gold metallic paint. And then I love this little paper mache boot. Um, not necessarily a fan of what's stuck in it, but you can always pull that out. And these little mugs are just cute from a little doll set. So I grabbed those as well. One more tote to go through. So a little wicker doll chair, you could put a little, um, you know, three little terracotta pots with some succulents in it. You could have this out on display just as is and not worry about putting anything in it. I loved the coloring of it. This little cabinet is missing one of the feet, but all these are little blocks. So I could either one, hammer these blocks off and then not have feet or I can find something or cut something to make um, a new foot. But these little cabinets are super cute. And I love that these have mirrors on the inside of the cabinet doors because that would have probably been very appropriate to an armoire at that time period. I'm about out of antlers. So when I saw this one mounted, I liked it. Someone has done some coloring on it, so it's pretty dark. Um, but I liked it. And this one is awesome. I've had a few of these windmills. Um, this one looks like it's missing something right here, but it still is good. I can easily hammer this um, or bend this metal so that it will um, stand a lot better. Then signs, even though this is a realtor sign, the guy's name was Kitchen. So Kitchen to me says this needs to be in somebody's kitchen. And then this, um, I don't know if this is a booklet or music or advertising, but it doesn't matter. It has red, white, and blue on it. Red, white, and blue is going to be great for people doing the red, white, and blue displays. And so I grabbed it. We've got this little like uh, black painted aluminum coil 
coal bucket. And then someone has made this pillowcase and um, it's just a slip on. There's no um, zipper or closure, but you could put it on a pillow and then always hand stitch it shut. But this looks super fun. You have lots of dog lovers and definitely has that vintage look. And I scored another watering can. This one somebody painted blue. It's a number 10, but it also has a good sprinkler head on it. This one's not as distressed as that green one, um, but I th still think someone's going to love it. And then this says 1987, but it looks like what's coming out today with all those um, wall hangings. So I think that will be a popular uh, piece. I got this huge amber bottle that definitely needs a bath. And this is pretty beat up um, and somebody wrote Helen on it, but the calf picture, I just went ahead and grabbed it anyway. I think someone will love it for the right price. Which I've had a few cast do, iron stones and they have, this one is stones. a Venus. It's a uh, lot taller um, and they have been selling have like hot cakes. All of it, so um, I grabbed this one. Burner cover. It's an eagle. A word. It's a little bit you different because it's your got kitchen. different colors and put it in your window sill or something um, inside. So top of it. note to self, you always want to look in things and look in your books. just a nice piece. I also grabbed a bunch of wreath forms. Um, these I got for next to nothing and so always good to have those on hand if you want to do a project. This little aluminum um, trailer you can leave it by itself. For Easter we could throw some eggs in it. I've got a girl who loves ice picks so this one's pretty good because it's got some um, advertising still on it. And somebody had just recently messaged me about some Atlas jars. So I grabbed a couple Atlas jars because I saw them. I don't typically grab um, jars because, I don't know, at some points I've had so many and I know at auctions you can get them pretty easily. So I don't worry about um, grabbing them too often, but I had a request. So I'm always even more, um, eager to try and find those things. So that is the end of this pick. I did get a couple of tables. I'll try and take pictures of those so you can see them. But again, if you like what you are seeing, make sure that you click the subscribe button, like the video, and I will see you next week.